Mr. Harper put all of his eggs into one basket and then he dropped the basket. If you think this economy is doing great, then Mr. Harper is your guy. Okay. We need to grow this Let's economy. Move to Mr. And he Mr. Has Mr. Mulcair, failed. You're, you're hearing a good ding dong between these two. Where are you? Well, I'm going to try to ring their bell. There, there, there are, now, he just said something to me, side. and I'm going to answer him. 40,000 Canadian jobs would be exported to the United States with Keystone XL. That's not our figure. That's the government of Canada's figure under Mr. Harper's Conservatives. I want to create those 40,000 jobs in Canada. Let's add value to our natural resources here. That's the way Mr. to sustainably Mulcair, develop our resources. Mr. Mulcair, okay, okay. Jobs okay. Oh, oh, on, that's why on. trade's a let's, good thing. Well, listen, look at your own record, Mr. You look Mulcair. at the record. The fact is, Mr. Harper continues, very strong Mr. Harper continues debates, to Mr. pretend Trudeau, you don't that there's a choice. We need a plan that's going to tackle transit and roads right now, not a decade from now like Mr. Mulcair uh, and not, uh, not at all like Mr. Harper has been doing. That's what our plan is all about. That's why I'm going to invest in the future of our country. Mr. Harper, is Mr. Trudeau onto something? Uh, absolutely not. Um, Mr. Mulcair likes to talk about long term, but what he doesn't realize is long term actually starts right now. Not five years from now, not 20 years from now, not after a few mandates of Mr. Mulcair in government. Canadians well, need help right now. That, and the fact of the matter is... Uh, the fact of the matter is, we, did not, we have not taken away health care from immigrants and refugees. On the contrary, the only time we've removed it is where we have clearly bogus refugee claimants who have been refused and turned down. We do not offer them a better health care plan than the ordinary Canadian can receive. That's I think that's something true, that Mr. most Harper. new and existing and, and old stock Canadians agree with. Why don't you stop using the security excuse as a pretext to do nothing? Mr. Because Mulcair, nobody you, wants to let somebody in without a security check, doing, but you're doing Mr. nothing. Harper? But it is not the kind of reckless approach that these two parties have. Canadians, fear Canadians on the backs of know who Mr. Need help, the most should do more. Mr. Mulcair is not making a choice that's going to allow to invest in his promises. They're puffs of smoke. We need to invest you know right now. That, you, we Justin? know right now to invest in the future of this country. Okay, Mr. Mr. Mulcair, Mr. you can make jokes Mul all you like. Mr. Mulcair's plan is to actually do what we know politicians of all parties, including my own, have done in the past, which is uh, to say, we're going to balance the books, and then, oops, the numbers are worse than we thought. We're going to have to break our promises. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm being honest with Canadians. We're going to run three deficits, and we're going to invest in the future Canadians need right now. We're now in our second year of a balanced budget. Okay, Mr. Why would we Thank return you. to deficits now when we have an unstable global economy and we need to make sure we can assure people because that the benefits are delivering? Mr. Mulcair, Mr. Mulcair, please. He was clearly criticizing the fact that Mr. Harper had run deficits, but that's exactly what he's planning to do. So I think, Justin, that it's only fair to say that when your advisors tell you one thing and another and they're totally contradictory, pick one. You just can't say them both.